In this video, I'm going to give you the 100 mile review on this Uxi or Uzi V8 e-bike that I sourced online. The product is linked in the description below the video. I'm also going to go through the pros and cons of this bike that I realized over the 100 miles that I've been riding this bike. One great thing about this e-bike is that it can be sourced from multiple warehouse locations delivered in three to seven days and it comes with all the tools and a pump that you're going to need to assemble and inflate the tires. I have a video linked above how to assemble the bike and change the settings in the computer to get this bike to perform to the optimum performance. So let's get into the benefits of this bike. It's a great value for what it is. I was able to get this delivered for under $1,100. That's inclusive of tax delivered to my door. Now it's pretty cool for what you get. You get front and rear fenders. The frame is steel. The only option is the seat is either black or brown. It's a 750 watt hub motor, a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. It takes about six hours to fully charge. The charger is quite slow. It's a two amp charger, but that's probably good for prolonging the battery. I get 27 miles of range on that. Probably more if I can pedal. I could easily get 35. It comes with a headlight, a tail light with directionals, a horn also, and a black and white display. And it's comfortable to ride. I have to say for hardtail, most of my other bikes are full suspension. It is a comfortable ride, all things considered with a padded seat. You could feasibly put two people on the seat. There are no rear pegs, but maybe you could facilitate putting a rear peg on it. But if I sit on the bike, I could sit here and ride. I don't know about pedaling in this position very long, but you could easily fit another person. Most of the time I am pedaling about like this and you can see my leg is almost fully extended. I'm 5'8", so you can see if I'm a little bit taller, it might feel a little more crammed, but the seat is quite a bit high. It's 33 inches, so someone five feet or less might have a hard time getting on top of the seat. The, I did add this little storage bag, and in this storage bag, I was able to put a small bottle of water, a multi-tool, some zip ties, and a rag in here. So I do like this option. I have a link to this product in the description below. Another benefit to this bike, it comes equipped with a seven speed transmission back here. So it does make pedaling. I have had to pedal this about a mile or two with no battery power and it is quite manageable. I do like that when I am pedaling, the cadence sensor and when I'm pedaling and transitioning from throttle only to pedal is very fluid compared to some of my other bikes. So I do give it um, a benefit on that. Now, the front fork isn't bad. It's pretty well dampened, you can see here. I don't believe you can adjust this. Um, yeah, it springs, so you can't adjust it. It must be oil filled, but overall it's pretty good. Obviously, if I'm towards the front, it's gonna over dampen. And when I'm sitting back here, it works really good. Now, let's get into the negatives. I have two main gripes about this bike. The mechanical brakes. Now the front brakes squeak a lot. See if I just do the back brake, it's not too bad. And it does stop you, but I wish that they were hydraulic. Um, I'm gonna try switching out the pads to see if that helps, but they are easy to work on. I will give them that, but I wish that they put another $25 in this bike and gave you hydraulic brakes. That would be a great setup. Maybe I could change those out at a later date for 50 or $60, so that's one thing. The other thing is, when I went into the controller, the controller is limited to 22 amp output. So the negative to that is the 750 watt motor, this only gets me to about 30 to 32 mile an hour top speed, 32 if I'm really wound out. But my other e-bikes with a similar motor put out 25 amps, so they get into 33 to 35 miles an hour top speed. So those are the main two things. I'll tell you what, if this bike was an aluminum frame, hydraulic brakes, 25 amp controller, I tell you, this, this would be a great bike. I would buy it all day long for $1,200. But for what it is, I'm really enjoying it. It's a great bike. You can go out there and buy 
let's say two or three of these for the price of some other e-bikes and then cruise around with your friends because it gets old cruising around by yourself if you have multiple bikes it's a lot more fun when you're cruising around with friends and other people no. so i hope that you liked this video if you have any comments please leave it below and i will answer any questions that you may have thank you for watching